Hi, I'm Dunstan Bruce, and for 23 years I was a member of Chumbawamba. So you might just remember me for this. For you, that was probably just a one-hit wonder that you vaguely remember dancing to back in the 90s, but for me that was a very small tip of a very, very large iceberg. And it's part of a hilarious and fascinating story that spanned over 30 years. And that's a story that I want to share with you. Remember Alice? Oh, look at that, look at that. I can't do this. My perfect iron's fucking up my dress. She's just one of the many people that's going to help us tell this story. I'll just let you rattle on. Yeah, but stop me if it's boring, I don't care. <laughs> if you're doing a film about us, I'm going to be honest, yeah, pretty yeah. honest about it. The untold story behind that band and that song. It weren't, um, people thought it was like a cynical, you know, or oh, they're making a record with no politics, when actually that, I get knocked down, I get up again, and all that big chorus and together, it was because we were falling apart as a band. This is our chance to get the inside story, to get the truth, or at least different versions of the truth from members of the band about what happened when a bunch of anarchists from the north of England had a worldwide hit totally by accident. The night of the Prescott thing, suddenly we crossed a line where I knew no other people in bands would do what we'd done. Does it piss you off that everybody thinks it was just Dambert and not you? It pisses me off that Dambert has never told anybody that, uh, that it weren't just him, it were me and Paul. <laughs> uh, that pisses me off. I just think, Dan, have you rewritten it in your head? What's been niggling away at me for years is whether pop music can actually change the world. And what can you actually achieve when that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity arises? Stuff we did with the money had um, invisible repercussions that nobody had ever connect to Chumbawamba. Yeah. You know, we financed that May Day conference that led to June the 18th, that kick-started anti-capitalist movement. You know what I mean? There were like all these invisible layers underneath yeah, yeah. That, um, that were moving politics forward. It gave me the confidence to go out into the world and just do anything I wanted to do. I wouldn't have been a writer if I hadn't have been in Chumbawamba. I didn't, I didn't have English all level. But I actually thought, you know what? I could cut it in a band without being musical. I can write, I can fucking do this. What was the moment you wanted out? I didn't go to the toilet for 22 days. That was the moment I thought, I think I'm really stressed. <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment. So this is the part of the trailer where I ask you to help me make my film. Now, obviously the best way you could do that is by giving me loads and loads of cash, which would be fantastic. And I would love you forever and I'd be eternally grateful. It would be great. But what would also be wonderful is if you could just share this film, share this trailer, share this, this campaign, just let people know of its existence. That would be great. Because I feel really passionate about this film. I want this film to get made. I don't want this story to get lost. I lose stuff all the time, but I'm determined not to lose this story. And I'm determined to make this film. And I hope you can help me, help me do that. So thanks. Thank you.